Welcome to Thriving Tribesmen. My name is Curry, your host, and I'm excited to be making this episode. So one of the key metrics that you need to measure in your relationship isn't based off only on sex. And I think we focus on the lack of sex and therefore we think our relationship is failing. But sometimes, like I said, it's, it's usually the stuff that is in the periphery that is probably as powerful and can cause the significant change in your relationship more than anything. And I was speaking to a client yesterday. We're recapping after the weekend that they had with his daughter. Um, His daughter ran a cross-country race, and she was doing very well initially in the race. And unfortunately, when they got to a certain point, she was actually ahead of the pack, so there was uh, over 100 children running. And as they got to a certain point, she was quite ahead in the, in the pack, so she was one of the top five at the time. But there was a distance between between the top five and the, the rest of the crew. So when they got to this point, it was um, two options for them to take. They ended up taking the wrong option, ran for, for, for a while until she realized that there's nobody running behind me and realized that everybody else is running going the other way. So she she tried to call out to the people that were ahead of 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 her it's like guys were going the wrong way but they couldn't hear so they kept going and then she turned around and started going the other way so uh, she started running as fast as she could and they realized uh, uh, when this when the client saw these other kids coming out she realized that oh they were they were ahead but now they couldn't see that the kids so they were panicked and worried what was going on so they see her coming through uh, the other uh, the group um She'd run as fast as she could. She was crying. They knew that something was wrong. They tried to, as soon as the race was over, they tried to attend it to her. And what a legend. He went and then he, his focus was, obviously there was initially when they started getting information of what had happened, there was a bit of anger. But at the same time, he, he put, controlled that in terms of the event, his anger towards the event organizers. But he controlled that and focused on his daughter and her being okay and her, you know, going through this and really just understanding how she's going to process this this stuff. So um, fast forward to Thursday, uh, they managed to have that moment to talk about the scenario. Like, what, what, what do you think about it five days from now? Now you've, uh, it's gone five, four days from now, I mean, four days since the event and the emotions has been removed. Everything else has happened what's your feeling around it and she started walking him through like what is she's thinking and how she feels about it and he said uh what what lesson did you learn from it and she said um well, the biggest lesson i learned was that i'm more than capable of what i was doing so she thought she was at one level maybe level five but because she'd made that mistake she had to dig deep and then run at level 10 and so she re- she's realized that she had this untapped potential that she didn't have after making that mistake and the amazing part about it is that he talked her through the you know the sequence of events that through the sequence of events each at each point you're making a good decision and when you made the wrong turn it was a good decision based off of the information that you had at the time so you've been very good at making good decisions the next decisions that you make should be be with confidence because you're already good at making decisions. So he was making, and again, this was powerful, he was bringing focus to the fact that, you know what, this situation doesn't define who you are in the rest of your life, but it's an important lesson that will teach you something that is amazing for the rest of your life. And that teaching was you can make bad, de- you can make very good decisions and still be slapped in the face. And again, that I can... I, my daughter, my daughter, she, she, whenever she gets a, a into a situation like similar to that, I prefer it. I know it's it's painful and I know it's terrible, but I prefer it because the quicker they can learn that you can make good decisions and get slapped in the face when they're younger, this is what makes great leaders. So as 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 rightly she he, he is, as he was talking to his daughter, he managed to say and ask her with the question, well. What do you feel like you've learned from this? And that's when she told him that, you know, I had this really untapped, untapped potential because I ran as hard as I could. And when initially when I realized that I had gone the wrong way, I kind of paused and I just wanted to give up and I wanted to let go because um, that's the situation I was in. But 
after that, I decided then to to go and <laughs> so I decided to go. My wife has just arrived, so just, so I decided to run as fast as I can to catch up with everybody else that's ahead. And as I ran as fast as I could, I managed to get some points for my team. Even though that was the most difficult thing, I realized that I had this untapped potential to run as fast as I can. And again, this it, it came from this bad decision. She managed to figure out that she was actually faster than she actually did, did known. And besides, there was this untapped potential that she could tap into and really go to the next level. So just like life, you know, this is how it is that we underestimate what we're capable of. And until sometimes you get slapped in the face, you never really know who you really are. And this was a powerful lesson for his daughter and he shared it with me and I thought this was absolutely powerful. And more importantly, it was a powerful moment that they could share both of them, which brought them even closer as as parent and daughter, I mean parent and child, which I would imagine is the momentum that creates a good relationship all, all, all around in terms of him and his daughter, his him and his wife. And it's all building this momentum that is going to be building the relationship, the relationships around his him as and again as a leader, being able to frame these challenges and making them into positives is exactly what makes you a great husband, a great dad, a great uh, leader outside of out of out of out of your house and in the work. So I thought that was an important lesson for 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 you guys as well. Just that when it comes to a sexless relationship we focus on the relationship and not realise that your your capability to lead every single area of your house is exactly what's gonna make you feel empowered to actually have a relationship that's amazing and fulfilling because you're not only focused on one thing to judge the metrics of success in terms of your relationship. So hopefully that's good information for you guys that's going to help you and just gets you thinking about, you know, what's that untapped potential that you've not uh, tapped into and these challenges that you faced, all this, this good decision that you've made and you've not got the outcome that you want, you know, what untapped potential can you tap into in order to get to the next level? So just an amazing story and I uh, just thought I would share it with you guys and I'm not, I'm pretty sure he doesn't mind me sharing this as uh, obviously I'm not sh sharing any more details than uh, the actual story so thank you very much guys I'll be seeing you guys soon take care